Uh, okay, Steve, so let's start off by just talking about the new products that Ricardo have got on show here at PMW. Uh, there's a couple of new things on our stand for this year. Uh, primarily, we've got our WRC gearbox right in front of us that we actually produce for M Sport. We've not exhibited that before. Uh, it's, relatively speaking, a new product for us. It was obviously accepted well in the marketplace in that M Sport won the WRC with it the first year it was racing. So, in that case, Steve, just tell us what a bit about this particular gearbox and what makes it special compared to previous ones you've produced and others that are in the marketplace. We, uh, Ricardo as a company has traditionally been in rallying for a long time. Uh, we probably started in the early 80s working with Ford on the Escort and Sierra Cosworths. Uh, the gearbox behind me is uh, recently we've produced it for M Sport for the WRC Fiesta. Again, they've been through one or two iterations of the car, but they started with us for last season and out of the box they, they won the WRC. The last time they won it was with a Ricardo box. They've won it again with a Ricardo box. I'm not saying where the reason that they've won it, but it is a nice coincidence. Do you find that that calling card of winning the WRC, obviously an incredibly tough championship over a variety of different conditions, does, does that help Ricardo sell product in other areas and in rallying? Yeah, winning things is definitely a bonus. I mean, we, we all like to see our customers winning, but because the WRC is such a, an arduous championship, you're right, there are rallies all over the world, it's tarmac, it's gravel, it's snow. And the technology we can develop in a WRC gearbox, we're using some of that technology now in Formula E. OK, it's not gear shifting because Formula E is a single speed series, but some of the diff technology we've developed with M Sport for this gearbox, we're using in other series, and Formula E is just a typical example of that. So some of the technology from this rallying gearbox finds its way into a Formula E gearbox, so a completely different kind of take on motor racing. What sort of changes have you had to make and difficulties you've had to overcome in order to create something like a Formula E gearbox? Uh, Formula E at the moment is really a, a transmission-led series. It, it's all about efficiency. The, the series started a few years ago and everyone used one of our competitor five-speed gearboxes. Motor technologies and battery technologies have moved on. Everyone's now down to single speed. So for a, a gearbox manufacturer, it's really about chasing efficiency now rather than uh, it is an ultimate performance but it doesn't give us the flexibility say of developing a multi-speed gearbox where we have we can use some of our transmission gear shifting experience because it, it's single speed so it, it is all about now about developing efficiencies everything that's not lost in the gearbox the manufacturer can put out the wheels which makes the car go faster so it, it, it's all a benefit but it's not it's not exciting as WRC it has its other challenges but it's obviously willing something that we're willing to step up to and, and run with. And there are things that you can then take from uh, Formula E and put back into your, your other products? Yeah, the technology we're developing in Formula E about efficiency applies everywhere. Uh, you don't want to lose anything through the gearbox if you can help it. Some of the oils and things they're using in Formula E aren't suitable for maybe some of the WRC gearboxes because they run for a lot longer duration, so you fill it and forget it. But bearing technology, seal technology for sure will carry over to some of our other products. Do you feel like PMW is the sort of event that Ricardo needs to come to in order to be seen and to get its products out there into a wide marketplace? Yeah, we've, we've been to PMW for a couple of years. I personally came for the first time last year and, and this year we've taken a stand that's, that's twice as big. So that must give you an idea of how, how much importance we, we, we put on attending PMW. I mean, the spot we're in is right at the bottom of the escalator, so people have to walk past us to get to everywhere else. It's a, it's a perfect place to, to generate business.